Before we get to those temperatures for tonight, though, Allison's going to talk about a little bit of dense fog that you'll have to deal with in some areas as you make your way into work on this finally Friday morning. Thanks, Lori. So for most locations, visibility is not really an issue this morning, but you can really pick up where we have those dense fog advisories. It's this area to the east, so eastern Polk County down to Fannin, Gilmer, and of course Cherokee County and North Carolina. That advisory is in place until 10 a.m. this morning, so you still have about five more hours to deal with that dense fog. Now there are a few other spots with some patchy fog and mist that are ongoing, but the visibility is not affected as much. If you are driving through these communities, though, uh, certainly maybe leave a few minutes early just to give yourself some extra time. That way you can drive slower on the roads because because there's probably going to be a few spots where there are going to be some hazardous driving conditions because of that fog that has developed. Of course, those are the areas that also received that rainfall yesterday as well. All right, let's head on and talk about your weekend planner then. So for the day Friday today, uh, if you're starting your weekend a little bit early or maybe at least for this afternoon and evening, 92 degrees for that high temperature today in Chattanooga, mostly sunny skies. So it is going to be hot and humid overall highs for today, tomorrow and on Sunday, ranging from the upper 80s to low 90s. So similar high temperatures that we dealt with yesterday, but the good news is rain chances are slimmer. So we're looking at mostly sunny today, Saturday and Sunday, probably partly cloudy skies. Both of those days, just a 10% chance for a spotty shower on Saturday and then a 20% chance for a couple of isolated storms on Sunday, but overall pretty dry weather. So that's the good news for your weekend plans. Here's the current setup right now. So yesterday, remember this trough was still in place across the Carolinas and we had those storms developing on the back side of that. Today, we're not really going to be seeing storms behind it because there's a, sh a change in the wind direction. So most of the activity will be down here towards the south in Georgia. For us, just a few clouds here and there and that slim chance for an isolated pop up shower or storm. You can see that difference as we're going through the day today. Most of that green showing up around here, just a couple of spots in our area. So that means Overall, I think games tonight for Friday night football are going to be dry. You don't have anything to worry about. Remember, Saturday, a few more clouds. We'll call it partly cloudy overall. Just a couple of spotty showers. Sunday, pretty similar weather. All right, here we go. Here's where we are. There is potential what most likely is going to become a hurricane making landfall on Louisiana. So what we're looking at for our local weather, still nice on Monday, a few isolated showers or storms. But what we're going to have to watch for is heavy rainfall moving into our area for uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So what does that look like? 10%, 10%, 20, 20, all the way through Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, you're seeing that big jump in those rainfall chances right now. About two to three inches of rainfall are going to be possible. So enjoy the next four days. Then we're going to have a little bit more activity as we start the month of September. But the good news is Thursday of next week, really nice. Low humidity finally. That's probably what you're really looking for. 84 degrees, so that'll be really good. Uh, still sticky air in place though for today and the weekend. Yeah, it sure is this morning. That's absolutely right. Love to see those rain chances going down a bit this weekend. Yes. All right, Allison, thank you.